Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how we can easily use the Chrome extension for your time tracking project for FreshBooks. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is when you're going to be in uh, FreshBooks, you want to go to Google and write here FreshBooks Chrome extension and FreshBook time tracker, add to Chrome, add extension. Yeah, I think you can do it also for the Mac, etc. So time tracker, I hope so. I will just easily add here uh, the I don't know the answer if it's going to work out, but okay, I'm going to just like write it here. Oh, I'll just add it like this. Now we got it. So again, like this, like this. Oh, here we go. So when you got it, uh, then go to right top and just click here, choose a business. Yeah, this is the business that I have. And then just click here, start timer. And now I can simply add it to client. Then you can add it to project if you have, and you can make it billable. Right here, when you would come here to time tracking, uh, it's calculating. So what I can do is to simply click stop, or I can come here and log a time. Okay. And now, when I'm going to refresh it, I have it right here. So again, you come to right top, you can start the timer, you can log a time. If you're going to start a timer, you straight away just choose a client and then you just start uh, like counting. Or what you can do is simply log time and you just write here the time. So that's pretty much it. And this is how we do it. So if you're gonna have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And this is how the time tracking works for fresh books. So you come here, time top, and then whatever you do, when you're gonna log a time, you're gonna choose a client, choose a project, choose a service and add notes, and you're gonna log it. You will always find it in your time tracking uh, in fresh books. So thank you very much guys for watching. And have a great day and goodbye. See ya.